Hi, I'm Ravi from Autoway. So in this video, we've got a Land Rover Freelander 2010. Customers come for a spare remote key, as you can see, that's a little bit worse for wear. So we're gonna use an AUT RK0003, an Autoway aftermarket remote with a rechargeable battery built in. And we're gonna use the new Exhaust Key Tool MIDI. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to plug in via OBD. So the OBD port is just down at the bottom, as you can see, quite easy to locate. So we've got the key tool MIDI, so it's a new device from Xhorse. The customer's original key, it does work the central locking, um, but obviously it's, um, it's, it's in not great condition and it starts the vehicle, as you can see. So we're gonna go ahead and program the new key. So I'm gonna go into IMO programming, Europe, and then to Land Rover, I'll select Freelander 2. So we're gonna go Smart Keys Programming up to 2012. So it says on here, it's got the instructions, you switch the ignition on, you press OK to continue, um, and, uh, and then you just basically, you go through the process. New Smart Keys add, you need to have one programmed key in this vehicle, so we've got one existing key to do it via OBD. So if I press Start Programming, and I'm going to put new smart keys add. So you need at least one programmed key, as it says on the screen. Click OK to continue. So push the programmed key into the slot. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to push program key into the slot. As you can see, it just sucks it into place. Press OK. Whether inserted is sucked in or not, which it is. So I'm going to press OK. Turn the ignition switch on. So turn the ignition switch on. As you can see, the light's yeah, coming on the dashboard. Again, then she goes press OK. So it says switch ignition off. So I'm going to turn the ignition off. Press OK. Remove the key from the slot, which I have now done. Press OK. Insert the smart key again, which I've done. Press OK. Whether to program next one. So it's just put the original one um, back in. So I'll say yes. So it says remove the key from the slot. I'm just gonna drop that on the top of the dashboard so it's out of the way. Take my new key from the packaging. And press OK. So it says push the new key into the slot. If it is ejected, insert it again and listen for the steering lock. So I'm just gonna push it in, pushed it back out. So we're just gonna keep doing this. So it didn't work. So it says whether the smart card has been fully drawn into the slot. So it hasn't. So I'm going to select no. So it says, please put it in again. This time I heard it click. So I'll press OK. So it says whether the smart card has been fully drawn into the slot, which it has now. So I press yes. So it says whether to program the next one. So that one's programmed in successfully. I press no. So it says turn the ignition switch on. As you can see, the dashboard is on. Press OK to continue. Operation complete. So I press OK. Now I'll try and start the vehicle, which it starts absolutely fine. Take the key out. So now we've got the key program. So I can test the central lock-in on both keys. Unlock works. Lock works. So lock there. Unlock works fine. Right, so we've got two keys programmed using the AUT RK0003 and the new Exhaust Keto MIDI. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.